Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here and welcome to my shed. It's been a while since I've been up here and I was beginning to think I was getting out of actually crafting and doing things. So I've dragged myself up here today and I'm going to start using things that I've bought and never used. Planning to do a time lapse on this. This is a little birdhouse that I bought and, uh, and I'm going to be using some of this Claudine Helmuth Studio Semi Gloss Acrylic Paint and Traditional Tan on it. I bought this and never used it. I have bought this and never decorated it so that's my plan. So I'm going to get a craft sheet out. I've got this traditional tan. I also bought some of the Imagination Craft Starlight paints in the new colours which are still in the box and I've never used so I might crack some of those out on it as well but I thought I would give it a base colour of this traditional tan um, and then we'll take it from there. There we go, so that's the little house given a coat in the traditional tan studio uh, semi-gloss acrylic paint. So I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of it. My plan is to put some little die cut leaves on the roof and add some different colours of paint um, to accent it a little bit. So, And maybe put some embellishments on it as well. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I used this paper artsy dye that I've never used before and I bought it because it was half price a few years back. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and taken some paper artsy paper and it is their... This is another thing that I bought and never used. Their Chatsworth collection paper and it's really pretty. And it's this page here that I've used. Um, and I've gone ahead and die cut the leaves. So it's a full, um, what I did was I cut the patterned paper into sheets of 6x6 six six, and then from 6x6 six six I made 3x3 three three, and then, no sorry, cut it to 6x3 six and then popped them all out. So that's a full sheet of 12x12 12 12 paper there and I've cut out all the, the leaves. Okay, so I've got a lot of threads and things on them so I'm going to speed this process up and I'm going to go ahead and just take all the little thready bits off and I want to ink the edges as well so I'll go ahead and do that too.
Okay, so there we go. That's the roof on. I've put more actually on on this side. Can you see that? I've put more on that side than I did on this side. I don't think you noticed too much. Um, and once it's dried, I'm going to be able to curl the leaves up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and paint some more on it. Okay, so that concludes the project and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all soon.